Okay, so we're going to start talking about the scientific method today. The scientific method is laid out in the format we know by Sir Francis Bacon. It's a series of methodical steps that allow scientists to approach a problem and test aspects of it. There are two types of logic. Inductive logic increases the scope of the final answer, and deductive logic decreases the scope to a specific case. This is the one that we use in the scientific method, and the one that you will be focusing upon. The scientific method and all science starts with observation. If a phenomenon cannot be observed, then it cannot be tested, and therefore cannot be treated in a scientific manner. After you create your observation, the next step is to create a hypothesis. A hypothesis is not, and I'm going to say this loudly, underline it in your notes, it is not an educated guess. That is a misnomer that people get distracted with. It is a testable explanation of an observation. It's not a guess. In beginning, science is almost always posed as an if-then statement, and in your science reports, it will be also in if-then format. The next step is to design your experiment. Experimental design must take into account the types of variables, control groups, and controlled conditions or constants. The independent variable is the I changed it variable. This is the variable that the experiment manipulates to see if it creates an effect. The dependent variable responds to the changes in the independent variable. It is the one that we are interested in finding out about, and so it's the I measured it variable. The control group serves as the comparison group. It is this group in which the independent variable is not manipulated, or it is the one that most closely mimics a normal situation or natural state. Using controlled conditions or constants helps to minimize the variability between groups so that you can see a true effect of the dependent variable if there is any. Minimizing variables is very, very difficult, especially in human trials. The way that you change variability if you're doing human trials is to increase the sample size. Once you've created your experiment and you've run it, you collect the data during that, that experimental procedure. Data can be either qualitative, for example, color or size that you're not measuring, you just say bigger or smaller. Or it can be quantitative, which is a numeric, very, a numeric value. Often qualitative data is placed on a scale in order to allow it to be quantified for ease of use. Once you've collected your data, you make conclusions. Conclusions are based on the data analysis, and if you don't show your data, you can't make a conclusion. So keep that in mind when writing a concluding sentence or statement. You must also always refer to your hypothesis in your conclusion. You can either support or reject a hypothesis, but you can never, ever put underlines, happy faces, and squirrels next to it. You can never, ever, ever prove a hypothesis. Once a hypothesis has been supported multiple times over lots and lots and lots of experiments, it can become a theory. A theory is a hypothesis that has been so supported by many experiments, often in different areas, for a period of no fewer than 50 years. A law is a theory that has continued to be supported for a period of about 200 years. Currently, evolution is about 130 years old. Actually, it's 140 years old now. So that means that we're pretty close to getting evolution over into the law side of things because it's been proved in robotics, biology, chemistry, all sorts of things. And we'll go into evolution again in a second because science is limited. Remember I said that science is based on observation. And when I talk about the theory of evolution, I'm talking about a natural theory. I'm not talking about a belief system and it's not a system that competes with religion. Science can approach issues of faith because faith does not start with observation. 
That's why it's called faith. They, these are two separate entities and are treated as such. They can't be combined and they shouldn't be. Hope this helps. Have a great day.